You will fool even the best mathematicians with this genius card trick. The magician has a normal deck of cards and he gives it to the spectator to shuffle it. Once the deck shuffled, the magician takes it back and he asks the spectator to give him a number between 10 and 15. The spectator gives the number 14. Therefore, the magician makes two piles, each containing 14 cards. Once the two piles are made, the magician no longer needs the rest of the cards. Now the magician asks the spectator to break a portion of either of those two piles and to look at the card that he cut to. The spectator breaks a portion of the left pile and he looks at the card. The card is the Queen of Hearts. Now the magician asks him to place the broken portion on top of the other pile and to place the remaining cards on top of the other pile as well. To shuffle the cards a little bit, the magician makes two piles by alternating the cards. Just like so. Now he gives two options to the spectator. He can either place the left pile on top of the right pile or the right pile on top of the left pile. The spectator places the right pile on top of the left pile. Now the magician takes the cards and tries to find the card of the spectator. He looks through the cards to analyze everything. And after looking at every card, he takes out one card and he asks the spectator what was this card. The spectator replies, the Queen of Hearts. And against all the odds, the magician picked the Queen of Hearts. To perform this trick, start with a normal deck of cards and let the spectator shuffle the cards as much as he wants. Once he's done shuffling, take the cards back. Simply ask him to give you a number between 10 and 15. No matter what number the spectator gives you, you must remember what number it was and also if the number is even or odd. First, I'll explain what to do if the number is odd. Let's say the spectator gives you the number 13. Make two piles, each containing 13 cards. Once both piles are made, you no longer need the rest of the cards. Ask your spectator to break a portion of either pile and to remember the card that he cut to. Let's say he breaks a portion of the left pile. The card that he has to remember is the four of spades. Ask him to place the broken portion on top of the other pile and to place the remaining cards on top of the other pile as well. Now you will make two piles by alternating the cards. And here's how you will know in which pile the card of the spectator is. Earlier in the trick, the spectator gave you the number 13. Since 13 is an odd number, simply remember the pile that contains odd numbers and which pile contains even numbers. Here's what I mean. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. The cards to the left have the odd number of cards, and the cards to the right have the even number of cards. Since 13 is an odd number, you'll know that the card of the spectator will be in the left pile. Now the spectator can either place the left pile on top of the right pile or the right pile on top of the left pile. Let's say he places the left pile on top of the right pile. Since he placed the pile containing his card on top, look at half of the cards to your left. Here's the equation that you will do in your head. Take the number that your spectator gave you earlier. In this case, the number is 13. Divide the number by 2. 13 divided by 2 equals 6.5. Simply round the number upwards. This will give you 7. You'll know that the card of the spectator will be in the 7th position. Count 7 cards starting from the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's the card of the spectator. Had the spectator chosen to place the pile not containing this card on top of the pile containing this card, the process and equation 
would have been the same, except that this time, the card of the spectator would have been on the right side of the cards and you would have counted seven cards starting from the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's the card of the spectator. Here's what happens when the spectator gives you an even number. Let's say he gives you the number 14. Make two piles, each containing 14 cards. As the spectator to break, a portion of either pile. Let's say he breaks a portion of this pile. The card that he has to remember is the eight of diamonds. Ask him to place the broken portion on top of the other pile and to place the remaining cards on top of the other pile as well. Since 14 is an even number, remember the pile containing the even number of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. The right pile contains the even number of cards and the left pile contains the odd number of cards. Therefore, you'll know that the card of the spectator is in this pile. Now the spectator can either place this pile on top of this pile or this pile on top of this pile. Let's say the spectator chooses to place the pile that doesn't contain his card on top of the pile that does contain his card. By doing so, his card will be on the right side when you will look at the faces of the cards. And here's how to find his card when his card is located on the right side of the cards. Simply take the number that the spectator gave you earlier, in this case is 14, and divide it by 2. This will give you the number 7. Simply count 7 cards starting from the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's the card of the spectator, the eight of diamonds. Here's what to do when the spectator places the pile containing his card on top of the pile that does not contain his card. By doing so, the card of the spectator will be on the left side when you look at the face of the cards. And to find this card, you must first find which card is located in the 14th position starting from the left. Therefore, simply count 14 cards starting from the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Once you know what card is in the 14 position, take 14 and divide it by 2. This equals 7. Simply count 7 cards starting from the 14 card by moving towards the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's the card of the spectator.